Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. We're Plan Disney panelists. And we're here to give you a tour, a complete guide to Disney's Beach Club Resort. What I love about this resort is that it brings all the fun of a beach vacation right to Walt Disney World Resort. Wanna go check out all the fun? Let's do it. Let's go. We're definitely at a shore town in New England, right here at Walt Disney World Resort. Let's go see this lobby. Let's go check it out. You can smell it yes, already. I that already, ocean I, mist yeah. and that beautiful welcoming fragrance. Look at how gorgeous. I mean, look at all those seaside hints. It's like we're in this beautiful inn on the shore, but we're here at Walt Disney World Resort. I love the color scheme right to start, those beautiful seaweeds and corals and blues. And I love how the colors start here, but they go throughout the resort, including the rooms. So you'll have bell services right back here where you can drop your bags if you're getting ready to start your day. And then guest check-in is right over here waiting to welcome you, answer any questions. Do you want to head upstairs and see what it looks like up there? Yeah. So there's a ton of different room types here at the Beach Club Resort. Let's check out what mine looks like. Beautiful, beachy, beautiful colors. I love these rooms. When you enter, you have Mickey and Minnie at the beach, of course. Coffee bar to start your day with plenty of caffeine and a beverage cooler to keep all those drinks cold to start or end your day. Right next door is your closet with plenty of storage space, hangers, some extra blankets, a safe to keep all your valuables secure, and a luggage rack. If you can't fit all your luggage in this, I love that you can actually tuck your suitcases right under the bed. There's plenty of space to roll them underneath. The rooms are so beautifully detailed, and then the beautiful color scheme continues throughout in the curtains, in the accent chair, and the desk chair. You have your nice big screen TV where you can watch your favorite show at the end of the day and right beneath, plenty of charging ports for your magic bands, your phones, all your gadgets. And the drawers have tons of space so you can unpack those suitcases, spread out, room for everyone. Now my room has a king size bed, but you will see some other options that might have two queens. This one can accommodate four guests, Two in the king, and then also this beautiful sofa will pull out to a sofa bed. Let me show you. Lift those cushions up, and then you'll find the handle right there. You can fit two kids, two small adults, whatever you want, whatever's in your travel party. But look how fun the pillows are. You have the little beach ball accents on the pillows, so cute. So the bathroom has a nice bright opening. You'll have two sinks to get ready, plenty of room to store those toiletries. You'll have a hair dryer, of course. Nice big mirror, lots of room to get that makeup on in the morning. And then check out the shower. I love the tile mosaic. It reminds me of seashells along the beach. Have some storage shelves in there. Another part I love about the bathroom is that you have a full size mirror on the door so you can see your whole look from mouse ears to toes before you head out to the parks. Make sure everything looking great. So that's a standard room. Hope you enjoy and we'll check out a couple more options. There are also club level rooms and suites available at the resort, and we're about to tour a one bedroom club level suite. When you first walk in, we have this beautiful walk-in closet. This is a perfect option to unpack. You have drawers to store everything. You're safe, of course. Yacht and beach oh, slippers. Yeah. And a cozy room. You have to have the matching room. I love that. And then we walk into our main living space. As somebody from New England, exploring shore towns, this aesthetic really speaks to me with all the nautical touches. The whole space really just feels like you're at the beach. You have the sandy colored floors, the blue of the water. It's just really refreshing and bright and cheery in here. And in this one bedroom suite, it sleeps four adults. And here this beautiful couch turns into a bed that sleeps two adults. We've got Daisy lounging underneath her umbrella. So cute, I love that detail. What do we have here? We've got a fancy beverage station for your cup of coffee in the morning. Ooh. Our- Your drinkware. Drink love those little cups. What's down here? And a oh. beverage cooler. Perfect. We gotta stay hydrated. Yes. Let's check out this bathroom. First thing I notice is that barn door. Yeah, look how fun that is. I love that color too. It's gorgeous. And then here we've got our double vanity, two people getting ready for the parks in the morning, hair dryer down at the bottom, 
And then what I love about this bathroom is even in the shower tub combo, it really carries through the theming of the resort. It really makes me feel like this is my shore house down at the beach. Let's check out the main bedroom. Please. Now this is a gorgeous space. I love the seating area. Perfect for your coffee and your robes. Yep, gotta yes. have those slippers too. Let's see what's over here. Ah, our own mini fridge. Can't go wrong with that. Yes. Of course, a television, relax and unwind. And I even see Hey Disney in the corner over there and some more beach accents. Check out this view, Matt. Wow. Can you even? Beautiful. Of the Boardwalk Resort in Crescent Lake. I love that. Absolutely. I definitely want to wake up to Gorgeous. that view. Gorgeous. What room should we check out next? Let's check out the Disney Vacation Club side of the resort. Ariel is welcoming us home. So Disney resorts are always known for having a grand lobby, but even in the Disney Vacation Club side, you're going to still have a really welcoming and inviting space. Check out the breezeway. This is probably one of my favorite areas of this section of the resort. It's so relaxing. I love all the beach details. We've got an actual picture of the beach club. I think what I love the most is that there are just treasures everywhere. I mean, this is Ariel's treasure trove right here. There are plenty of these little spaces around the resort where you can just sit, relax, enjoy coffee, do a little work if you need to, read a book. You also have the drawing room, which is a great space for just relaxing. There's some recreation in there. There's a pool table, a TV. There's even a little work area. So now we're going to tour a one bedroom villa. Of course, we're greeting ourselves and we <laughs> have some beautiful seashells. You got to get that nautical detail in right, there. Right as soon as you enter. I love that. Seaside artwork. And bam, we're in our living space and our home away from home. It feels just like a little apartment, right? Like you yes, can it does. move right in. Here's our full size kitchen. Full size refrigerator and freezer, which is great. You can cook here all week or not, whatever you choose. <laughs> uh, dishwasher, all the amenities for washing dishes by hand. And then you'll have all your plates, glassware, a microwave, which is always handy, toaster, coffee maker, all the essentials. I love having this full-size kitchen for a long vacation and for breakfast in the morning especially. Yes, especially when you just want to get a quick start and you don't want to have to get a reservation. It's perfect. Now this one bedroom villa will sleep four and two adults can sleep here. This couch with Daisy Donald and the nephews at the beach does pull down for our fireworks view. Do you want to check out the main bedroom? Yes. So here's our main bedroom. Sleep another two adults. Nice little work area if you want to catch up on emails or your news in the morning or not. I love the artwork in here. It just feels so, so coastal and so peaceful. And then how can you not feel peaceful with a view like that? Get some coffee. Just watch the world go by. Love the landscaping. It's just so relaxing. All right, let's look at the bathroom. It's a nice wide area. You've got that soaker tub. Perfect. And of course, you're at the beach. You can soak after a long day. Get ready for the parks in the morning. I love all the detailing on this mirror. And we've got some storage here in this closet. And if you don't feel like soaking, walk in shower. Another sink to get ready. Everybody's getting ready at the same time <laughs> in the morning and then our water closet. I actually really love the way that the units are set up too because you have two doors to enter the bathroom. So you'll have this if you wanna come in from the main space, but then the bedroom has the option to close that door and then they can feel like they kind of have a private bathroom as well. What's behind this magical door? We've got a washer, dryer, we've even got a hamper. Easy cleanup. Exactly. And even though this is a DVC villa, you do not need to be a DVC member to stay here. So there's two different table service restaurants here at Beach Club, and I think we're gonna go check out Cape May Cafe now. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. We're at the character breakfast here at Cape May Cafe at Disney's Beach Club Resort, and we're really excited to meet some characters. Hey, Donald. <laughs> Are you ready for the beach? 
<laughs> Me too. I got my baby suit on. We're dressed for yes. the occasion. I think we, we look great. <laughs> So this character breakfast obviously has a lot of our favorite friends, but we also have a really fantastic buffet option. I say let's go get some waffles. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so we just finished a delicious breakfast at Cape May Cafe here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. We got to meet a bunch of characters, had some great food at the buffet. And I think there's also another experience we can have yeah, here. Yeah, actually, so once you're done filling up on waffles and pancakes and eggs in the morning, you can come back to Cape May Cafe for dinner. And there's no characters at dinner, but it's actually a really great experience because you're gonna have all your classic New England seafood staples. There's a steam boil, your clam chowder, a fried seafood platter, lots of good options, a carving station too. We'll have to come back. Absolutely. <laughs> So we're here at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop here at Disney's Beach Club Resort, and it's one of my favorite places to dine on property and one of the table service options here at the resort. It's also a really popular reservation, so you want to make sure you make your reservation 60 days before you're choosing to dine. So it's a 50-style diner where you have all your kind of classic comfort food favorites, grilled cheese, burgers, hot dogs. There's a really great Reuben, but the star of the show is the, ice, the cream. ice cream, which we can't wait to show you. And there's also some really great milkshake options, too, if you haven't tried those. Let's dig in. Let's do it. Here it is, the world famous kitchen sink. It's got eight scoops of ice cream, all the toppings in the house, and a whole can of whipped cream. A whole oh, can. can! That's right, I said a whole can, and these people are going to eat every single bite. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Give them a round of applause! Yeah. <laughs> Brownies, cake, cherries, Oreos, sprinkles. sprinkles. Oh my gosh. Where's the bottom of this thing? <laughs> We're going to find it. Oh my gosh. Let's cheers, cheers. friends. Cheers. <laughs> so cute. Well, we're gonna finish this up. So uh, when we're done, we'll show you some more of this amazing resort. And if you can't get an advanced dining reservation, Beaches and Cream to Go is a perfect spot to grab a scoop or a milkshake or a sundae right at the walk-up window. And you can take it with you as you enjoy the rest of your time at the resort. If you're not looking for a table service dining experience, there's a few great spots here at the resort to grab a quick bite and get fueled up for the rest of your day. We're here at Hurricane Hannah's now, where you can get your classic foods, cheeseburgers, fries, hot dogs, lots of kids' favorites, and of course, a few adult beverages or mocktails too. Exactly. There's also Martha's Vineyard, which is one of my favorite spots. I love the cheese plate there. There's a lot of small bites, adult beverages. It's just a nice place to unwind at the end of the day. And then there's the Beach Club Marketplace, which is more of your grab and go. I think we should head there now. Next. What do you think? Definitely. Cheers. Cheers. We're at Beach Club Marketplace, which is the grab and go option here at the resort for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's little options that you can pick up, refrigerated options. Cupcakes and yogurt and cheese plates. Oh my. <laughs> We've got prepackaged items. One great tip is to buy a resort refillable mug, which you can use to refill at your resort with fountain beverages, coffee, a whole assortment of options to keep you hydrated. You also get all your prepackaged beverages and it looks like some hot options are available here. You can order sandwiches and grab and go items in person or you can do it ahead of time with mobile order. There's also some merchandise options. There are things that are specific to Disney's Beach Club Resort. Want to take that robe home? You know it's calling my name. Want to take Beach Club home? These are so cute. We've got Magic Bands, Magic Band Plus. Great spot to add to your pin collection if you're looking to trade. Oh, these are these. These are calling my name. <laughs> they have I your love name a all over jersey. It. You need your Minnie and Mickey ears. Hats, toys, bathing suits, flip flops. You can also find some items that you may need throughout your stay. Medicines, sunscreen. A sewing kit, safety pins, anything you might have forgotten, it's here for you. Let's do some shopping. All right. If you need a great place to relax and unwind, come to the Solarium. Thank you. So if you're gonna talk pools at the Walt Disney World Resort, you have to talk about Stormalong Bay. It's an amazing pool area. It's like its own little mini water park. It's shared between Disney's Yacht Club Resort and Disney's Beach Club Resort, but it is perfect for a resort day. This is absolutely the place you wanna be. There are leisure pools on property as well, but this is the place where you're gonna have a water slide, a lazy river, a zero depth entry area for the kids to play and build sand castles. There's a tanning deck, there's hot tub. I think we should go explore. Let's do it. Stormalong Bay is almost like its own little water park. It's the only pool on property with its own lazy river. You can grab one of these little tubes and just float, grab a book, enjoy life, and enjoy your vacation here at the beach. So one of the great features of Stormalong Bay is this amazing kids area with a zero depth entry pool. 
The entire pool is covered in sand, but you also see the kids can play and scoop and make sandcastles as they explore the water. There are three quiet pools throughout the resort. This is Dunes Cove, which is by the Disney Vacation Club Villas. We've got a hot tub, of course a pool with all its beach chairs. It's just a nice relaxing quiet space if you don't want to splash around in Stormalong Bay. Beautiful. This is the Admiral Pool here at the Yacht Club side and there is also a hot tub as well. Here's another leisure pool on the Beach Club side. This is the Tidal Pool which also has a hot tub and you'll find some complimentary life vests and towels available for use. There's plenty of activities for the whole family to enjoy. You have nightly movies under the stars, weather permitting, and a campfire. One of the best parts is you get complimentary marshmallows and there's some Mickey s'mores available for purchase too. You can check out even more activity options on the resort schedule near the pool. And for all you Run Disney fans, there is a running trail here at the resort just under a mile or so and it will loop you right around Crescent Lake. There's also an arcade on site with a lot of fun games for anyone to enjoy. The Ship Shape Fitness Center is a great spot to get your cardio and strength training in before or after your park day. So one of my favorite things about this resort is location, location, location. So if you go right, you can walk to Disney's Hollywood Studios. If you go left, there's a walking or jogging path to Epcot. You can also walk to the Disney Skyliner, which will whisk you away to Disney's Hollywood Studios and some other resorts. There's Disney's Boardwalk across the way. You can also walk there. There's some great restaurants. I love this too because you can actually take that walking path all the way around to Crescent Lake to get to the Boardwalk and you can actually rent a Surrey bike at Boardwalk and drive along this whole loop as well. For the Friendship Boats is centrally located in between Disney's Beach Club Resort and the sister resort, Disney's Yacht Club Resort. You can board a Friendship Boat right from here to whisk you away, sail you away for your adventure at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and the other resorts on Crescent Lake. So not only are you walking distance to Disney's Hollywood Studio as an Epcot, but you can also catch the bus to Magic Kingdom Park and Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park and also Disney Springs. You're right. Thank you so much for joining us for our tour of Disney's Beach Club Resort. That was so much fun. What was your favorite part about what we saw today? I would say breakfast at Cape May Cafe. I love the characters, the dining options from the buffet. It really is a can't miss. How about you? I have to vote for Stormer Long Bay. Next time I come and stay with my family, we're heading straight to that water slide and seeing how many loops we can go. Definitely. <laughs> If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at PlanDisney.com. We're happy to answer all your questions. See you then. As panelists, we are compensated for our participation on Plan Disney.